So let's take a look at the Pro Series Smart Grid system. Um, so this comes as standard in the Pro Series um, 2 model now. It was introduced in the Pro Series 1. Um, it's an optional upgrade for the basic, uh, but this is, um, so yeah, it comes as standard. So let's show you all the components. So this is the frame that sits inside the firebox or on top of and then drops inside. Directly above your fire, you're gonna have um, the ceramic plates, the collector plates. Um, and as an option extra, what you can do to handle these when they're red hot um, is this li lifter system, which slides into these sections here, and then you can lift it out without having to handle it. Even with uh, welding gloves, these will be hot. So this is a really good option if you're, if you're looking at it. On top of that, we've got these stainless steel drip trays. <clears throat> um, really useful. Uh, stop the food and spillage getting onto the uh, ceramics. And they interlock one on top of the other. Uh, so we're going to put them the lower one first. And then they sit on the ring with these little catches. And there we go, that's dropped into place. Then what you can see is we've got four different height levels for grates. We've got the lower ring, and then we've got th three more uh, sections to which we can fit uh, the grate ring. And that lowers on the inside, and then rotate anti-clockwise to hook onto these levels at whichever you wish. You can use uh, by additional rings, uh, so you can create four levels um, to be able to fit in lots and lots of food. And then your stainless steel grates simply sit on top of that. What does come with uh, this system as well is this grate lifter. And again, when it's red hot and you don't want to be handling it, you can just interlock them in and lift it out. When it's fully assembled, <clears throat> um, and if you need to uh, lift this out for whatever reason and it's red hot, the Pro Series Smart Grid system also comes with these handles, which you can fit in and under, one on each side, and then simply lift it straight out. So to demonstrate um, the split level system, so I'm gonna take this out, and then take one side of the uh, grill, and then fit that onto the lower section. And then what we can do with this, again, at whatever level we wish. So let's say we want to have it a bit closer to the heat and then we can lower it and fit it onto that height. So we've got lower zone here, higher zone here, and obviously we're gonna have different temperatures. So there are additional accessories for the smart grid system as well. And what we've got here is the cast iron plancher and half grid system. So I'm gonna show you how these, those fit in. So removing, <coughs> the stainless steel grates that come with the smart grid system. We can also remove that to the top. We can also fit these on a single level, or we can also fit them um, in a split level, just in the same way that we demonstrated at the moment ago. And then these are absolutely perfect for getting those beautiful grid lines, um, sear lines on your steak or your um, vegetables um, and then also for um, smashed burgers on this side or your fried eggs whatever you wish <clears throat> again additional accessories we've got uh, a monolith cloche which we can put over for the smashed burgers being assembled in there um, so many options with this really great system so to show you that again on this using this as a split, split level system i'm just going to take this off <clears throat> Also, flipping this over, um, on this side, uh, we've got a, a griddle, um, which is perfect for perhaps more healthier cooking, where if you're cooking bacon and you want the fat to be able to drip away rather than the bacon sitting in the fat, this is what's perfect for this side. So the fat will just run away and uh, sit in the uh, crevice. <clears throat> to move on to the split level system, what we can do is slide this through, putting lower down, um, closer to the heat and if we had the heat deflector removed you could get some real intense searing 
on those stakes and uh, with the fat dripping straight onto the char char lit charcoal um, and get some great flavour in the steaks as well. So in addition to all that, of course, we can do direct grilling. Um, so let's re remove all this and show you how we do that. So we're going to remove the cast iron for the moment and we're going to also remove the drip trays. as well as the deflector plates. And then conveniently these stay inside the drip trays. So we can put the stainless steel grids straight back on. And when the charcoal's lit underneath, you can see that's how we're gonna do direct, direct cooking and grilling. Um, again, we can use this at multiple heights, so depending on how seared you're looking to get, we can lower it for more intense or we can raise it for less intense. All depends what you're looking for. Obviously, something like a spatchcock chicken, the higher zones are perfect, and then flipping it over from side to side, we're going to get a nice crispy skin. So let's talk about indirect cooking. Uh, we've set this up for direct. Let's put it back to indirect. So we're going to take off the uh, stainless steel grids and replace the ceramic stones. So the ceramic stones are uh, used as deflector plates. Um, they stop the heat directly coming through and up to the food. Um, and what happens here is that the heat off the charcoal will come up and then come around the side and it, essentially with the shape of the Kamado it will come around the side and swirl around your food so that's bringing all that great flavour and taste from the charcoal into the food and any smoking woods that you may have also added as well. <clears throat> Above that we are going to add the drip trays so that we don't get any of those juices dripping on the stones and this makes it easy for clean up and these can and do fit directly into the dishwasher. Above there, we're gonna fit our stainless steel grid ring, um, and this is where then we can put the food. And temperature-wise, this is great for anything from low and slow, so 225 Fahrenheit, all the way up to easily 400 Fahrenheit, temperatures that you would be cooking roast that even in your kitchen. So um, you're gonna get cooked in exactly the same way potentially um, as well as getting all of those great flavors from the charcoal. So to demonstrate two zone cooking uh, what we're going to do is take this off and then remove one side of the drip trays and also one side of the uh, deflector plate and then we're going to take one side of the stainless steel grills and then put that on there and then this side will be then have the charcoal directly underneath it uh, and then any uh, oils or, or fats that drip from your food like your steak burgers whatever it may be and the drip onto the charcoals and that's going to burn that and then put the flavor back into the food <clears throat> putting this back on top on this side we can still access the food here and then if we want to then, uh, after we've got the nice sear marks or and flavor that we want, we can move it over to here, but to continue cooking at a much lower temperature. And then we're still gonna get the heat and smoke from the charcoal circling around the food here and bringing it up to uh, temperature completion. In this setup, what we can also do um, and is grab the deflector plate that we've just moved from here and sit this on top of the grate and then we can use this for cooking uh, a baking flatbreads or any form of bread that we want and that gives us that heat from the stone once you've preheated it as well as the convection heat that's coming from the charcoal and adding all that great flavour. So if we want to do uh, use the full area for baking what we can do is restore this back to full indirect. with both grids on top. And then using 
uh, piece of stone of some description that can sit on top of there. Um, so we've still got the indirect cooking where the heat is going to come swirling around and with this preheated, um, to make sure this is nice and hot before you put any food on it, uh, that's going to be utilised for pizzas or any other form of bread baking and using your monolith for that. So we're going to lift this straight into the grill now and as you can see, just drops in and rests on the firebox, no issues at all. <laughs> 